sometimes it's hard for us to admit this to anyone. And actually, it's often hard for us to admit this to ourselves. But in truth, many of us find that we're just not the people we know that we should be deep down inside, that there's some discrepancy between the person we are seen to be in the world and who we are most deeply. And I think a lot of times that happens because of societal expectations and the roles we're expected to play. Today, I want to talk about the way in which spiritual practice, contemplative practice, can help us decrease that divide between who we are most deeply and the the way in which we're seen in the world, the way we're seen by others. And as I do that, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel as well as to click the bell so you're notified of future videos. So I think that many of us find, particularly at some point in life, that the life we're living just doesn't represent who we are that we know that there's something inside of us that just isn't being fulfilled or that isn't being expressed or something like that. And we look at our life and think, what am I doing? What am I doing with here? I think that happens for a number of reasons. The first reason is for, you know, sort of those cultural societal expectations, the roles we're expected to play and the behaviors that are seen as being appropriate for us. And, and there's a lot that goes into that, and I can't pull that entirely apart in this short video. But I just want to use one example, and that's to understand what success means in any particular culture. And, and in Western culture, it uniquely means really, you know, striving to get ahead, to make as much money as you can, to keep moving from one job to the next, to, to become more and more than what you were before. And, and that becomes very important, and that's valued. And often what happens is people find that the jobs they're doing have increasing stress and their discomfort, and they're not comfortable for them. It was interesting, recently in the New York Times, the Times interviewed about a half dozen people who left their job during the Great Resignation to find out what they were doing now, a couple years after the fact. And what they found was that all of the people they interviewed had left their jobs. They didn't quit working, but they were working differently. Some became entrepreneurial and created jobs for themselves out of things they loved, out of hobbies. Others took different kinds of jobs that were not corporate related, that were based on, on other values that they had but every one of them described that their lives, the quality was better, that they were more relaxed, they felt more themselves. And that's really important because these values for success pull us away from who we are. And these people found that by stepping out of that pattern, they were able to come home to themselves, as it were. But that's just one kind of social expectation that pulls us away from ourself. You know, there are the judgments that come our way, you know, that we're either too tall or too short, we're too round or we're too thin, our nose is too big, our ears are floppy, whatever it may be, there are standards of beauty and appearance that we're supposed to fit into that none of us really do. And those become messages that we internalize that tell us that we're not right, that there's something wrong with us and prevent us from being the people we are most deeply. In a similar way, all of the social prejudice in society, the prejudice about the color of our skin, our national origin, our gender, our gender identity, our sexual orientation, all of that and more causes us to doubt who we are, causes us to think that there's something wrong with who we are most deeply. So all of these social messages pull us away from ourself and prevent us from being content in our own identity. Contemplative practice can help with that. And by contemplative practice, I mean those spiritual practices that enable us to become quiet, to appreciate silence, and to go deeper inside of ourselves. Things like meditation, spiritual reading, 
yoga, things that draw us inward. And contemplative practice helps in three ways. First, when we do a contemplative practice, when we're engaging in it, we step out of that external noise and become quiet for that 15, 20, 25 minutes and just are alone in silence so that those messages are turned off. And that becomes the first step in our healing to appreciate that silence and come home to ourselves. The second step is that as we develop a regular practice, whether that's four times a week or every day or twice a day, whatever it is for us, we more and more let go of those deformative images because we're spending more time in that silence, being at one with ourselves, And so those other things don't matter as much. And in time, and that time can be shorter for some than for others because how we've internalized these messages varies from one person to another. But in time, we find that we become more deeply rooted in our deepest self in the person we were really meant to be. And as those roots dig down into us more deeply, we find that we're able to recognize those expectations, whether they be about work and career, whether they be about beauty, whether they be about social prejudices, whatever they may be about, that they become things that we don't pay attention to. We recognize that they're there but we move out of the wealth and beauty of who we are. Doing this takes regular time in spiritual practice. It helps to have a spiritual director who can not only coach us in the practice, but help us discern and sort out those messages that we've received and, and help us find that ground in who we are. And it also helps if we're able to talk with some other people who are involved in the same kind of journey, that inner journey, to really be our true self. While it's an individual journey, the presence of others can make a difference. So I want to encourage you to embrace that contemplative practice to cut down on the noise of the negative messages, that as you go more deeply, you'll find that you let go of those deformative messages and really become deeply rooted in your true self. Thanks for your time today. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, share the video with others, leave me some comments, reach out to me if you're interested in spiritual direction, and know that I really appreciate your time in spirituality beyond borders. Thank you.